Um, personally, I feel like um, it went really well, um, better than expected, just because we uh, haven't been in our gym for a year since, oh my gosh, a long time. So um, personally, I think we did a great job and connecting with each other, even though we still have more to work on, it's um, exciting to be back in the gym with everyone. Yeah, just, uh, just playing off that a little bit, you know, this summer was obviously difficult for a variety of reasons, not just pandemic reasons, but I wonder just like, where's your, where's your frame of mind at right now? Like in terms of just feeling like it just feels how good it feels to just be back on the court and doing essentially what you love to do. I love it. Like we didn't even know if we were going to be able to play and, um, I don't know, I'm just very thankful to have everyone here and um, administration, the behind scenes people, you know, working for us. And um, honestly, it feels great to be back in the gym. I'm so excited to keep playing and start our uh, little, um, like start Marquette of Big East play. So, yeah. Is it, is it nice to still get some of these non-conference games in before you really dive into Big East? You know, like you said, shake off some of that rust and get back into the feel of things? Yeah, um, I think it's good to play different teams that uh, you have. I mean, we've played them before, but um, it's, I don't know. I feel like preseason games are better just to get all the jitters out and then once Big East season comes, we're like up and ready and um, yeah. How are you guys as hitters uh, getting comfortable with the two setter system that you guys are employing this year? It's a little bit newer from what you're used to practicing with and playing with, but it seems like there's been moments where it looks like that parity is kind of shining through a little bit that you guys want. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's hard just because we have two setters. Um, they're both very different and uh, we're working on connection with them during practices and obviously we're getting kills so that's great um, but it's just communication between all of us and uh, they're doing great so far and I'm so excited to have them set for the hitters. So. Any other questions for Keely? I guess defensively, uh, um, how would you grade your uh, your progression in that area? I know it's been a point of emphasis for you, and it seemed like the end of last, I mean, all the way back to last December when you last played, it seemed like it was starting to get into a little bit better rhythm on that side of the ball for you. Like, did you, were you able to carry that over that momentum you had at the end of the season from your defensive abilities? Do you feel pretty good about them where they are right now? Yeah, I feel pretty good about them right now. Um, there's definitely things that I can work on, um, but good thing we still have practices. So um, I think just kicking off that rust and remembering how um, I used to be back then a year ago. But um, yeah, I would say it's still progressing. But. What what don't you what don't you like about what you're doing defensively so far? What do you feel like is the next step for you if you're if you're just critiquing yourself? Um, I would just say getting better in the gym every single day. Um, no one's perfect, and uh, there's just little things that I don't know. I can critique myself on, but like hitting and making mixing up shots and all that kind of stuff. So also serving. <laughs> All right. Well, is there a question in the chat at all or not? No. No. Okay. That'll do it with Kiwi. Thank you. Thank you.